In the 21st century, teaching and learning are no longer restricted within traditional classrooms, and learning methods need to be portable and flexible. Moreover, the internet is reshaping the way knowledge is transferred, and e-learning is becoming a true alternative to traditional classroom learning. The majority of content will be delivered through video lectures, but learning at distance requires more than just simple presentations that mimic a recorded lecture. Open access texts, discussion and research activities, and automated quizzes are all we required to create a blend of learning opportunities. Importantly, for each of these activities, learning objectives need to be created so the learners are clear what they are expected to know. Opportunities for self-creation and exploration are essential so the learner is not just consuming knowledge by watching videos, posing discussion topics, or research questions for learners to investigate in more detail are good approaches. Also having them create or develop videos on their own is another good approach, especially if they can post these findings on a platform for further discussion. So let's take a look at this sample health-related fitness unit that is developed for physical education. The health-related fitness unit that I will be sharing was created via Google Slides. So let's take a look at it. It's a health-related fitness unit. I embedded some emojis. In. The uh, lessons align with the National Physical Education Standards, specifically Standard 3 and 5. Standard 3, the physically literate individual demonstrates the knowledge and skills to achieve and maintain a health enhancing level of physical activity and fitness. And the physically literate individual recognizes the value of physical activity for health, enjoyment, challenge, self-expression, and or social interaction. So on the first page here, I utilize my Bitmoji. I embedded an audio for the students. I'm not going to record it. I provided my email address and my virtual office hours and my virtual meeting point. And I embedded uh, this on the particular screen. Moreover, the student can click on the day of the week to access the lesson for the day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday within the Google Slides. The first lesson is uh, to observe and describe the immediate effect of physical activity on the heart and the breathing rate and perspiration. So the student would, would watch this particular video on how the heart works and then go to the next uh, slide for a fitness lesson to strengthen the heart. So this is four spot fitness and the students would need paper plates, a water bottle, running shoes, and a marker. And they'll take part in this four spot fitness exercise session, which lasts about nine minutes. So it's a video embedded from YouTube. So also every lesson within the health related fitness unit has an introductory video a video lesson that the students would follow along to and a checking for understanding component to every uh, day of the week for every day of the week so looking on monday for checking for understanding they click on the link on the right and what the student would do is label the heart and take a screenshot or a snipping tool and upload that document to blackboard or, or canva and uh, or can email the particular teacher directly depending on the uh, protocols in place for the educator <sighs> once they've completed this particular exercise again they'd take a snapshot and share it with the educator now looking at Tuesday, uh, simple exercise for elementary education. Watch this video 
and go to the next slide for a fitness lesson, which can increase blood flow to the brain. So this video is just a brief introduction for the students on the benefits of exercise, um, cognition, After they watch this particular video on Tuesday, there's a health-related fitness dice game that was developed that I do. And uh, it can be utilized to strengthen both the heart and mind. The student rolls a dice and the particular number that it lands on, they do a particular exercise corresponding with the number on the die. So for a one, it's the plank. For the two, it's a squat. For three is jump ups. And four is jumping jacks. Five are lateral jumps and six is just quick feet. So the child would play the particular round. There's a couple of rounds and then they'd create their own dice game at the conclusion in the final round. Here in the final round, the student creates their own game by delineating their exercises one through six, and they play it through. So the next question is, do you understand what you did today? It's a check for understanding. So the child would upload a picture of the health-related fitness dice game they created with exercises of their choice, and they'd email it to the educator via Blackboard or Schoology or any learning management system that's being utilized. For Wednesday, it's focus on health-related fitness, the five components of fitness. There's a short video on the benefits on the five components of fitness. And uh, it's aligned with the national standards and the state standards. And the child would follow along to, uh, to a workout that's embedded within the uh, particular presentation. And the child at the conclusion would name 10 exercises they did with the body coach and label them within the correct health related fitness category, utilizing the table. And they'd email their responses. For Thursday, they'd watch a video which notes the benefits of exercise, specifically the benefits of dance to their health aligned with the national dance standards. And here are some videos with some sample dance moves. There's the electric slide, the cha-cha slide, and the SID shuffle that the students could watch for some sample dance moves during this time. And then still on Thursday, what they do is choose a dance of their choice and they perform the dance and record themselves doing the dance. They'd have to follow the guidelines within the rubric. And here's the rubric. They demonstrate excellent knowledge or choreography and perform movement patterns free of errors. They show great effort while performing choreography. They have most appropriate attire and the performances must not be longer than three minutes. You can upload this particular dance via Flipgrid. However, um, there's there's multiple avenues that can be utilized to upload the particular dance, but we want them recording their dance and utilizing the rubric for the educator for Thursday. And for Friday, they'd watch this video relative to uh, health-related fitness again, the benefits and uh, what are different assessment tools for health-related fitness? And then they'd create their own chalk obstacle course, which focuses on the components of health-related fitness. So here's a sample obstacle course that was developed. And they chalked the sidewalk to improve health-related fitness. After they do that, the question is, did you have fun today? Take a picture of your own obstacle course and submit it via email. 
And just a little bit of criteria, the obstacle course must have more than four activities. And they could clearly label if the particular exercise focuses on flexibility, muscular endurance, muscular strength, or aerobic capacity, or a combination of a few. Moreover, at the conclusion of this Google slide, there's a choice board. And uh, I embedded an audio recording. And the choice board just gives the children more opportunities to take part in uh, exercise and to have fun while taking part in. Just wanted to say thank you. And if you wanted access to the health related fitness unit, please go to bit.ly forward slash, it's case sensitive, HRF unit JC.